Chinese government reject WHO plan for second page of COVID-19 origins study. Chen Yi Xin, Vice Minister of National Health Commission, speaks at a press conference in Beijing on December 31, 2020. CNN, the Chinese government will not participate in the second page of the World Health Organization's investigation into the origins of COVID-19, a top health official announced Thursday after the possibility of the virus leaking from a Wuhan lab was included on the proposal. Zhang Yixin, a deputy head of the National Health Commission, told a press conference in Beijing he had been surprised to see the lab leak listed as a research objective under the second page of the investigation. In some aspects, the WHO's plan for the next page of investigation of the coronavirus origin doesn't respect the common sense and each against the science. It's impossible for us to accept such a plan, he said. John also appeared to respond to U.S. State Department claims that several workers at the Wuhan Institute of Virology fell sick shortly before the first documented cases of COVID-19, saying no worker or researcher at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, Virology got infected by coronavirus. The WHO released an initial report from its investigation into the origins of COVID-19 in March, in which it determined that the virus probably originated in an animal before spreading to human beings around December 2019. But a growing number of Western nations, including the leaders of the G7, have questioned the thoroughhead, thorough, thoroughness of the original report. United States President Joe Biden has ordered the U.S. intelligence agencies to take a new look into how the COVID-19 pandemic began, noting that Western observers have yet to be granted access to key laboratories to determine whether it was an experiment gone, gone, army, gone away. U.S. intelligence working on report about COVID-19 origins. Little new evidence has emerged to support the theory that the a virus was the result of the accidental leak from the Wuhan Institute of Virology, where coronavirus research was believed to have been conducted on bat. And many scientists familiar with the research say such a leak is unlikely. However, in March, a number of the WHO team who helped oversee the origin investigation said the Wuhan lab leak theory did not receive the same depth of the attention on work as the animal hypothesis. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus joined the Coast for China to cooperate more fully with the new COVID-19 origins investigation on July 15 saying the first had been hampered by the leak of law data as the early days of the pandemic. We asked China to be transparent and open and to cooperate, he told the news conference. We owe it to the millions who suffered and the millions who died to know what happened. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Li Zhan said on July 16 the government had cooperated fully with the initial investigation and refuted the allegations that the researchers had been denied access to any locations or data. 
China's position on the issue of global origin tracing is consistent and clear. The origins study is a scientific issue. All parties should respect the opinions of scientists and the scientific conclusions instead of politicizing the issue, he said.